Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Nick from Part Time Pilot. This is day three of our five day challenge to helping you become a pilot in 2022. So, the five day challenge, uh, you can just go to parttimepilot.com slash 2022 challenge. It's going to supercharge your New Year's res resolution to become a pilot. And in just five days, we're going to show you how to get your student pilot certificate, how to get your medical certificate and how to choose a ground school and get started on your training. We're also gonna give you access to a free course that tells you how to choose flight training and uh, how, what questions to ask, how to find the right flight instructor, uh, make sure you're not getting ripped off, and a bunch of tips on saving yourself time and money and stress. All right, so this is day three. Uh, we're talking about finalizing your student pilot certificate with a recommending instructor. Now on day two, we showed you we went step by step through IACRA uh, to uh, getting your application submitted for a student pilot certificate. But not, that certificate is not completed until you meet with a recommending instructor. And the reason the FAA does this is they want a, an actual person to verify your identity, verify you are who you say you are, and then also verify your English proficiency because, again, one of the student pilot qualifications, which we talked about in video one, which you can watch if you click right here, uh, is that you have to be 16 years old and you also have to be able to read, uh, speak, and understand English. So that's what the recommending instructor is going to do is verify your identity, make sure you speak good English. And um, we're going to show you how to find a recommended instructor uh, and go over what you guys are going to do when you guys meet up. So a recommended instructor can be any certified flight instructor, designated pilot examiner, DPE, or authorized personnel at your local flight standards district office, FISDO. All right, so we have a couple links in here. You can't click the links on the video, so we're gonna put those links uh, down below. There's a link to find uh, DPEs, or uh, designated pilot examiners near you. There's also a link to find flight instructors near you, and there's a link to find FISDO, to find FISDOs near you. And each one of these will bring up a list of these things with phone numbers that you can call and schedule a meeting with someone who can re be your recommending instructor. Now, when you call them up, and we'll show you those uh, search tools in a second, just say, hello, my name is Nick and I live in San Diego. I've just submitted my student application in IACRA and want to begin flight training here in the near future. I was wondering if you could meet with me and be my recommending instructor, or if you know a recommending instructor, uh, to verify my identity and English and sign off on my IACRA. All right, so say something like this, you know, be nice, be kind. Say, hey, tell them what you're doing. You need a recommended instructor and they will be happy to help you out. All right, so when you meet with the recommended instructor, be sure to bring a valid photo ID. This is very important uh, to the meeting so they can confirm who you are, who you say you are. All right, so this is very important because this is the, the number one reason you're, you're actually meeting up with them is to confirm your identity. All right, so the next thing you're going to do, uh, the RI is going to do, and they may not tell you this, but they're going to verify your English proficiency. All right, so if you are not a native or a natural English speaker, if English is your second language or third language or something like that, um, just know that when you meet with the RI, they are going to be judging you on that at this time and they won't recommend you if they can't understand you or you can't understand them all right so make sure that your english is to a high enough level before you meet with your recommended instructor all right so once all the information is input in diacra the ri will have you review the privacy act and pilot bill of rights so you'll just read through that stuff uh, then you'll enter your username and password. So you got to remember your username and password from IACRA. That, and if, again, we in uh, day two of the challenge, we set that up for you. Your IACRA account, we submitted your application. So you're going to enter your username and password, and that's going to electronically sign the application. All right. Uh, finally, the RI will do the same. They'll sign and complete your application. And voila. You're done. Your application has been submitted. A temporary student pilot certificate will be available uh, within seven days. Sorry, having trouble with my pointer. And, uh, and then a permanent certificate, an actual card that looks just like 
when you finally get your private pilot license card, it'll just say student pilot, uh, will be mailed to you in one to three months. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. And stay tuned for tomorrow, day four of the challenge. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, everything about your medical certificate. All right. So how how you would schedule that, what you need to know, and how to make sure that you're going to pass that and not give yourself a huge headache trying to deal with the FAA, trying to prove um, that you are indeed healthy. All right. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Thanks for watching.